Thank you so much for joining us. Um, before we get started, again, as we always do, we just want to thank you guys for the support over the years. Uh, our Care Bars partners who are watching this, thank you so much. Really means a lot. Uh, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Again, like, share, and subscribe. And also go to dynastamir.com. Go to dynastamir.com. Pick up the merchandise. This is the Minday shirt. Minday. You know, I'm part Minday Sierra Leone, so this is the Minday shirt. So what go. What does Minday mean? It's the name of the tribe. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So this is the uh, Minday shirt. I'm part Minday, so Sierra Leone. So guys, go to dynastamir.com. Buy the shirt, or you can cop the shirt at the merchandise store here on YouTube. Again, you can grab the shirt at the merchandise store here on YouTube, and also go buy a book. Go to Amazon.com, buy a book, or go to the merchandise store. Um, I'm sorry, I'll go to dynastamir.com. Thank you. And me and Fitzgerald were just talking um, before we were coming live, before we went live. Literally, I went to Kroger yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I bought. I bought two small things, not, not even big, two small things of pasta sauce. I bought two bags or uh, two large uh, things of turkey meat, right? I bought two bags of catfish fillets. I asked for sure, I said, for sure, guess how much I spent? For sure, I said $53. I said, no, I spent $81. I'm trying to think if I bought anything else. Chewing gum? $81. It's just it's not it's just it's, it's not sustainable over here. Yeah. Like just just uh, I, and again we talked about this before. I remember once a month, me and my mom would go to Bel Air. If you guys are familiar with Sacramento, California, in fact, I'm sorry, we lived with the Bel Air uh, off of Florin, or we went to Rayleigh's off of Freeport. It was crazy. The grocery stores are still there. Me and my mom would go there once a month on a Sunday. She would spend a hundred dollars. When I say the grocery shop, the grocery, the, the shopping cart was full on the in the actual grocery grocery cart, and on the bottom full. I'm not exaggerating. I literally went to the grocery store yesterday, spent eighty one dollars, and just walked out with two bags. Mm -hmm. Eighty one dollars. I got a better one for you than that. Uh, Go you know, ahead. When you called me, and the reason I said push this up to uh, eleven thirty, I mean one thirty, I was in I was in Walmart again. I know you've been saying, man, but I like I like fresh food. Okay, mm -hmm. so I get my I get my organic lamb. Lamb is my first meat of choice, and then followed by salmon. Um, some lamb. I got some Creole oil, some aloe vera juice that I use to alkalize my body. Some omega three for my you know for my heart and and, and brain. Uh, help with the functionality of that. A multivitamin, 50 plus. Um, mm -hmm. And I bought my mother uh, a couple of care package, you know, lipstick and, you know, she wanted some bandages and, you know, I slipped her a 20 in there and some other stuff that, you know, she likes, she likes chocolates. And and I got up there. I didn't think I had much. I had a couple of bottles of water. They bought 80 cents per. Lady said $150. <laughs> And and I actually forgot forgot to get her something like I forgot to get her uh, 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 to get her something else that she likes. I paid it. I had the money to pay it, but it it, it doesn't make the difference that you have the money. You still walk out of like like what the hell did I? And, and I and I and I had a list, Prince. I had a list in there, you know. And, and then and then you start saying, uh, uh, well, should I put the parsley back or should I put the Sweet potatoes back now. I'm going to need it anyway, so I might as well. I mean, it, uh, Prince Amir and I were talking, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It, it, it's like a hundred dollars is the new twenty now. It's literally like a hundred dollars is the new twenty when you go in. Sure. Oh, let me write that down. You know, it it, it, it really is because you know you, you it doesn't it doesn't go nowhere. I mean, you the, I I can give you a hundred dollar bill, and uh, you know you take it depending on what vehicle you you have. Uh, uh, you could probably spend like 30 or 40 of that, depending on where you are, just, just filling your vehicle up with gas just one time. I have a nice little fuel efficient, a RAV4. I love it. little four-cylinder echo system, but I get good gas mileage. I don't have to commute far in, in Tampa. I think I don't, all the majority of my stuff is done within 10 miles of where I am. Work from home and everything else like that. Um, and, and, and so, but it, you know, you okay. So you have like, say, like you have sixty dollars left. Uh, let's say uh, thirty dollars. Uh, do an average, thirty dollars. You have seventy dollars left over. 
okay, well, you, you decide you're going to go pick up a cup of food items, some fresh meat. You know, you need something, need something to, to cook. Well, you're not going to more likely get a lot of these hormone injection and the, the chicken with all the water and the broth injected. And you're looking for good, fresh food, uh, organic, the way they call it. Well, I mean, you go get an organic ribeye steak or organic, uh, even a, a chicken or organic beef. I mean, get ready to pay something like sometimes like seventeen, eighteen dollars per pack. You know, you know what's crazy? You might as well. Okay, so when you say because I don't really eat red meat like that, but when you say organic ribeye steak, is that just one steak or is that a pack of steaks? No, that's just one steak. That's a steak come in the package. You know, and like this. You know, when I went out there and I got my lamb, you know, one was ten ninety eight and the other one was was eight something, eighteen dollars just on two pieces of lamb. But that's my meat. I like you know. You know, I, I like that. And it's good, fresh food. Well, I got some parsley. My point of the matter is, you know, like that. I mean, uh, uh, it's like it's like things are going up so much in prices and, and, and groceries is like have been subtle kind of so groceries have been increasing uh, subtly. You know, so so that's on top of all the rest of the thing, uh, things like that. I mean, I, uh, without without care, I really wouldn't know what I would do. I wouldn't know how I would make it financially. I, I just wouldn't. You know, and, and I need to need to start a couple other things like that. But I just just wouldn't. I mean, without that residual income, because first thing I thought, uh, OK, well, Friday, I got the money coming on there. It's going to, you know, I'll, I'll get it on. But that's not the point. Even when you have the money, you you still feel when it loses. You know, you still feel when it goes out. And and unfortunately, what I did, I made a mistake and I didn't take cash. And, you know, and so because what I say with that, Amir, I just swipe the debit. OK, the debit's kind of easy. Even though you feel, even though you you know you just it's coming out your account, it's easy. When you, if I would have took like hundred and twenty five dollars of cash and I would have emptied my wallet, that's just a psychological thing for me, Prince. Right. If, what I would, and I saw that cash disappearing, I'm like, oh goodness, you know. It, and uh, and so 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 that, that's why we talk so much about, hey, go ahead and, and go ahead and. Uh, and, and get your residual income, get your carrot bar business, start select, saving your goals, start start talking to other people where you can get paid off the efforts of that um, and and, uh, and start um, start having the, the tax write-offs where your business that affords you like that. But more importantly, Prince, I, I am I am serious, man. Uh, three years, I want to I want to have my African place in, in, um, in motion. Three years. That's what that's what I'm that's what I'm coming out because. I don't see how you keep doing over there, man. I, I just want to go over there and see. Maybe I can get, maybe my money would go further. I mean, you know, you listen, for what you paid for two pieces of meat, you could have bought a whole goat. <laughs> the whole goat. A whole yeah. goat. Whole yeah, baby I might, I might goat. Go. You know, true story. True story. When I was in, uh, when I was in um, Kenya, I bought a whole goat. A whole goat. A whole goat Fitzgerald for $50. Uh, it's 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 get, it's going to get to a point where you're going to have to move to an Africa, or you're going to have to move to a Dominican Republic, or wherever you want to go. Because uh, uh, if if uh, if prices keep going up, this like in the West, I, I don't I don't see how it can be. I don't see how I I, I, I shudder to think with the generations coming up behind us, Prince, uh, when they start getting like your age right now, what what uh, what housing is going to be, what food, what gas is going to be, uh, what just basic utilities is going to be. You know, I know it. I have a, I have some, uh, I have some uh, the close friend up in Canada, man. So it's a couple of good, good friends up there. Uh, okay, Canada has socialized medicine, right? The healthcare and everything like that. And they, and they actually have one of the wealthiest middle class in the world. Definitely wealthiest middle class. Uh, you know, in terms of wages earning, uh, it can easily match the United States. And some sectors have seen it. Well. And, and and so they have so they don't deal with a lot of assurance issues that that we have to deal with down the states that you're out of insurance. But man, when, when they are, uh, but but the the utilities, the the taxes what they pay for the, the taxes what they pay for gasoline, for for water, for electric, man, it is through the roof. It really is. It's through the roof. Toronto is one of the wealthy, uh, the one of the richest cities, the the one the, one of the most expensive cities, should I say, to live in all of North America. Toronto, Ontario, very cosmopolitan, uh, beautiful city. But man, those guys up there, man, like God, you know, the middle class, they, you know, dude, they they can't get by making no uh, twenty five, uh, thirty dollars an hour. But you know, that house that you have right there in the West End, mm -hmm. you you put that up around Hamilton and Toronto, man, that's one point three million. The mm -hmm. exact same house that you have, mm -hmm. one point three million in Vancouver, it's like one seven. 
You know, for sure, not to cut you off, even though this COVID situation is going on, it's like everything's going up. It has to, Prince, because, because, uh, uh, and, and, uh, no, I don't know why it has to. Because, wait a minute, because, no, that's a dang good question. Why is it going up? If someone in the audience may want to chime in on this, you know, who's more addressed with it, me, I'm just putting my, my thing out there. Okay, fuel prices is dropping. So a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of the shipping costs, you know, or the fuel, uh, or the fuel cost that I, that shouldn't be passed on because fuel price has been relatively steady in some way, cases decreasing because of lack of people on the road. Okay, uh, a lot of companies are going out of business. Uh, you know, uh, uh, restaurant supplies, uh, they're, so they're not really having to supply them. Uh, and and uh, and so I don't know. I don't know. But yet we still see food costs going up. We still, uh, you know, especially food costs. Utilities, uh, Prince, what I'm seeing about the same, um, you know, so I don't I don't know what that is. I don't know. That, no, I don't know why that is. Not let's say just can. Not let's say they just can. Girl, I literally. I looked at the. I looked when she. Well, yes. Um, that would be eighty one dollars and fifty seven cents. I just looked like at what I got. I walked out with two little bags, like two little. I walked out with two bags. Okay, I, I, we got an answer, and I like to thank you. Our beauty matters. It, the exact answer. The supply chain has been affected. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. You know, the supply chain has been affected, you know, so so once again, I, I um, the, our beauty matters. I thank you for that answer. Uh, you know, it, it's just it, it's thank you far as for that. Ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about when we talk about carrot bars, uh, but let me give a little bit about my story. Probably you didn't you didn't hear. I didn't get involved in carrot bars because I wanted to save gold. I didn't get involved in it because I wanted the cryptocurrency. I really didn't go, get involved in it because I, I wanted a residual income. I didn't get involved in it because I want to, wanted to uh, the, the save cash. Although I have gold saved, cryptocurrency saved, euro saved, cash saved. But that's not why I moved. When, when Mr. Michael Delco called me uh, back around uh, uh, January 14th, 2015, I wanted to be free. I, I, uh, I, I got tired of just always fighting financially and never getting anywhere. So in essence, I guess I get get in for the, for the money. But the big thing I want to do, I want to have freedom of choice, freedom of control of my choices. Uh, you know, I, when I when I started, I was 50 years old. And, and so so and, you know, going on five years, I, you know, I, I, I've actually built up a, a, a built up or a portfolio that I could say, okay, in my later years, I'm not going to be destitute because I have this carrot bars business in place. Uh, it, uh, it is done. It, it is doing exactly if not more than what I thought it would do. Um, and because I didn't have any, any options, you know, I knew, I knew that I couldn't keep going on with the status quo. I knew things were, things were, were kept going up. Uh, uh, my wife and I, we, we were making uh we were making about $70,000. You know, we had just lost our, uh, lost our home a, a few years prior, but uh, uh, but we, we, you know, we making an, uh, seventy thousand dollars. Not a, not a knocking out the park. You know, a, a nice little medium income. You know, as far as what we are, but yet we were in a one bedroom apartment in Buffalo, New York, uh, 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 downtown, uh, a nice area, but we were paying for it because uh, I have a thing. I don't I don't live in crazy areas. Yeah, I don't care if I got to pay you an extra two or three hundred dollars a month. I don't live in crazy areas. You know, so that that's 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 my thing on me. I used to, but I just don't do that no more. Right. I was driving a 1995 Toyota Camry, day near uh, uh, approaching 300,000 miles on it. She was driving a 1999 Toyota Camry. We wasn't we wasn't we were for the occasional trip. We would go up to Toronto and you know and uh, see the city and do things like. But we wasn't really doing anything. But yet we couldn't miss a paycheck. And, you know, and and I happen to have I happen to have been in sales. Uh, for the most part. Now, sales, it's a very high position. You know, you have you have actors, sales, and you know, so it's a very, very high paying position. But not unless you're on the top of the food chain, really, like a sales director, a vice president of sales or somewhere like that, where you're getting overrides on everyone. Everything about everything about sales, you literally got to go out there and, and you literally have to go out there and make your own paycheck every day. You literally do. OK, so you you can uh, you can you can get some great accounts. But once they pay you that one time, you got to go out and get another great account. Prince Amir, Prince Amir can take, get your master's lessons on that. 
Right. And so and so when when, when Mr. Delco called me, uh, 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 I hadn't I didn't know that he had he had just left a six figure uh, j- uh, mortgage banking job uh, in 103 days with a silver packet because you know he got he called about 300 people. Many of them said yes to him. He he uh, he, he started replacing his income and lo and behold, that man hasn't worked a day since. In 103 days, six years ago, Mr. Delco walked away from a six-figure job. So I'm of the opinion that that he could do it, I can do it. And you know, and I and I certainly know a Prince Amir can do it and doing it. And I certainly know you you uh you guys can do the exact same things. We all wanted income. So what I did, you know, I I, I uh, like Michael tell me more about this. And you know, and I heard a uh, uh I, I heard one of our friends, Miss Sherry Brown talking about it. All the concept does carrot bars, uh, <clears throat> e-commerce business. Uh, you you register your free account. The Prince of Dynas Amir's link is, is going down at the bottom of the st- of the stream. And the and the product is gold. The product is gold. Now I didn't know a lot about gold. When you said gold, you know, I, I'm thinking like the gold chain you wear on your neck. For you know, that's the most I was about it. Gold chains, maybe a gold bracelet, a gold watch, the 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 shining stuff, you know, for display. No, there's, he was talking about gold as a part of a part of your wealth portfolio, part of your financial portfolio. So I started seeing that different. Okay, so I started acquiring gold. I got a business package where I could get paid a residual income because all I was doing, all I was doing, just saving this. That's like a, a 0.1 gram of gold. All I do, all I was doing, just saving this. You know, transferring paper money. I shall spend all the paper money. Okay, I will. Tra- I would transfer this paper money. Okay, and I would transfer it into this. This is going down in value. This is going up. Okay, and so th- that was simple concept me. And so I was. I that was cool. That was cool just by doing that. But they also had a, a, a component where I could tell my friend Prince Dinah Samir. I said, Hey, man, I got. I have this business. It deals with gold. It's free to join. He was interested in gold. You know, he initially, Prince Amir did not start out building the residual income at first. He just wanted to go. Like many people we come across wanting to get to go. Okay. Well, uh, he, he, he eventually, he eventually he registered his account is free to join. Okay. Got us a gold. Then he got a business package. Why did he get a business package? Because having a business package, uh, as he would often say, your own franchise, that gave him an opportunity to get paid five times a month as opposed to once a month in the free position. So he started getting that. He started sharing this with people. He, he started he, he started receiving euros. He started receiving free gold. Man, uh, um, you know, back there was a there was a time before for many of you know, and some of some of you already were in on that. Uh, it used to be not only were carrot, carrot bars giving out free gold, but they was giving out their free cryptocurrency, the KBC coin that you can win. I'm not going to tell you how much that man just won. You know, uh, uh, far far as with that, he called me one day and he said, "Well, Fitzgerald, uh, the uh, you know uh, it, it should be rising a little bit faster, Liz." And I and I simply said to him, "I said, man, you know, all this was for you for free, right? <laughs> uh, you know, you you got very high figures, and I'm not going to tell you what they are." You got very hard figures for free. He never asked me that again. Okay, this is free, you know. And so, what if that stuff just hits like ten cents or a dollar? You know where you're sitting at, but far as one giving you. So he, so he started. We we started talking this. He started building as well. He started. He started uh uh, uh testing it. We, you know we would go into Africa. He started paying things or there was Mastercard. His network started exploding. He started creating a residual income by helping other people recreate residual income, and it gave him another stream because he already had a couple more. But now this was before Corona. We didn't know this was going to happen. You know, Prince Amir and I have been talking uh, uh, with this stream for a year now. But we we had no clue. Many of us had no clue that it's going to be the t- 2020 started off um, started off with a with, with unfortunately uh, a tragedy with a uh, 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 the late great Kobe Bryant. But you know the chopper went down. I think that's back in January. I mean I remember what, you know where I was. You know when somebody told me I was hoping he, I was hoping it wasn't true. So I didn't know the man, but you know we knew of his philanthropy work. We knew him to be a great stellar athlete, you know, and and uh, so so you kind of feel connected. Then shortly after that, there the, the uh, this Corona thing uh, when it came out, I didn't take it seriously. I, I didn't was, either I, until, I, they, I, until, I, until they canceled the NBA. When they canceled the NBA season, I said, okay, something's wrong here. Well, th- that that got my attention, but but I, I was uh, I was in the dojo, 
uh, uh, you know, talking to my martial arts instructor, Master Russo. And I said, you know, is, is this thing, is this thing all that serious? He's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, this thing is real. So, and then my brother had been telling me the same thing. All of a sudden the second voice clicked. Okay. But it got real serious when I got, when I, uh, after, after a week and I got called into the office by my boss and, and, you know, with a six figure income job down here in St. Petersburg and he, and he fits I, I got to let you go. It's no one, you know, people haven't, we're having tough times uh, of getting in people's houses. They're not, they're, they're, they're afraid to let us in the houses. I knew he was telling the truth. And, and, you know, and I told him, I said, man, do what you got to do. You know, this is your company. Your company has to survive. That's exactly what I told him. Now, why would I say something like that? Why would I not say, oh man, I, I'm the best, you know, I, I did great with you. I was loyal to you. No, I didn't say that. First of all, I own the company. Second of all, I had a company with carrot bars. See, I had I had, I had close to you know nine thousand affiliates uh, uh, back in uh what was that back in um what was that February Prince I got fired in February something yeah, like February. that March yeah February early March late February early March man I, you know uh, uh, since then since then I put over two thousand affiliates in my organization making uh, uh, making euros a uh, uh, building network helping other people around the world build a network. So I had somewhere else to go to. I had something else. And so, and so, uh, um, it, it, so I, 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 so I wasn't completely devastated. You know, I mean, I, I was able, I was able to, to help build wealth for other people, just build wealth for myself. I was able to acquire gold. I was able to, 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 to save cash. I was able to, to acquire or more cryptocurrency. I was able to have my business with the tax write off, and so it was a it, it's it's a matter of survival for me. No, and and and, uh, and it's a matter of survival for a lot of other people. All you're doing with carrot bars is you're just registering for free with the link that's going down like a ticker symbol at, at the bottom of the page. You print some your link. I saw so, the chat. I saw the chat room. And and and, uh, and you just you just you just register for free. Free. They're not going to ask you for a credit card. They're not going to ask you for anything. And then, and then, and then you once you you click on you register as an affiliate. Once you fill out the forms, about seven minutes, you're going to get an email from Carrot Bars. Then you go in the email and you verify your account. Okay, instantly you are in business in 149 countries. Your product is gold. You start saving gold or, or acquiring gold, however much you want. There's no minimums. There's no maximums. You get what you want when you want. You can never get kicked out, you know, far as with, for not working or any of that stuff. You know, you have literally a home based business that 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 operates. And let me say it again, operates in one hundred and forty nine countries. OK, you you uh, you're able to create residual income paid to you on a MasterCard in euros. And you're able to lead the income in the event of your death. You're able to leave that to your beneficiaries. So so it's just a wealth system that's that's dependent upon you. OK. So, uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So when you uh, when you start when you start becoming a part of that, you have a support system. You have this system that was created by Miss Ty and, and, and uh, Mrs. Valerie Best uh, called Wealth Builders Worldwide, and that's exactly what it is. The name says it all. Actually, I, I, I actually uh, 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 fifteen of the top uh, bit, uh, money earners in all the carrot bars come out the Wealth Builders Worldwide. Uh, uh, dot system created by Tyrus. Mm -hmm. Fifteen of the top people, and, and that's that's over a million million, million affiliates. Fifteen come out of wealth builders in all the in all the world. So they just to go to show you how effective that business is. Then then on top of that, Prince Amir is going to give you uh, give you a personal number because once you join register in his organization, he is going to get a uh, get a uh, uh, email saying it saying that you you have registered. He's going to help you with your business packet, and then he's going to turn you over to me, and I'm in turn going to help you navigate through your website and plug into Wealth Builders and start teaching you how to teach other people, to teach other people, to teach other people, so that you can, so that you can really, really realize the income that you deserve. Ladies and gentlemen, I talk about when when I talk about a I uh, I want to got an Africa plan. Two things, is, two things that's really uh, influenced it. Um, that that was a gentleman from England that should be watching the stream, but he's calling me now. That um, it threw two things that really influenced me with the Africa plan. Number one, my brother Prince Dinas Amir. You know, 
Uh, 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 have you ever given advice, but you haven't taken it? You ever given great advice? Oh, before you didn't yeah. take it? Of course. I was, I was one of the cats that told him, man, when he was on vacation, man, you ought to go to Africa. He did it. Okay. I never went myself. So I've been, I've been, I've been living Africa through his eyes because he's a personal friend. So it makes it makes it much more personal. Lo and behold, that he he got his uh he got his citizenship, and I'm like, man. And and as I'm listening to the search for Uru program, a uh, uh, very innovative, you know, very innovative, talking about uh, uh, the issues with Africa and uh, what what's going on like that. I, I know more about Africa for search for Uru than I ever could learn on CNN and and Fox News and all that kind of all that all that kind of stuff because they're not gonna they're not gonna give you the real lowdown. I I I I ignorantly ask him, man, is, is it really that you cats really modern over in Africa? It's absolutely silly, ignorant statement I made, but I didn't know. Okay, so 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 he started talking. Then I started working with people in Africa. Uh, I started. George, I'm on the phone right now. It's supposed to call about me at two thirty. I'm on making a video. Can't talk. Okay, pretty cool. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So so then I start learning about uh then I start being exposed to get, getting on the internet and start looking at areas and then and then I I was talking to one of our other uh, one of our other business partners um um uh, over, Mr. Marvin over in uh over in California. Uh mm -hmm. Prince Samir uh, uh, uh started him uh in and uh, started him in a carrot bar business too. And then one day we was up we was we was sitting up and then I just happened to do the exchange rates from euros to the Guyanese dollars. No, what happened was I, I did exchange rate the night before I talked to him from euros to the South African Rand because I was looking at Cape Town and uh, uh, Cape Town, South Africa. And I said, I'm going to I want to get me a pace uh, on the water. OK, right, right, right on the Indian Ocean there. And and uh, and uh, I'm going somewhere with this. So I looked up I got on Zillow dot com and looked up and looked up. Um, uh, apartments. So I said, I want to get a three bedroom apartment on the ocean. And, and I was able to key on a Zillow, look at the things and stuff. It, it said something like, uh, about, uh, 4,000 Rand, very nice place, 4,000 Rand. And I said, okay, if I go over there, let's say I'm doing my business. I want to do about, yeah, I want to do about 5,000 euros a week, 5,000 euros a week. So I converted that twenty thousand euros of twenty thousand euros a month into rand, and it came out to something like a hundred and eight thousand dollars, hundred eight hundred ten thousand dollars, some some stupid number number. So I was like, okay, well, if I three thousand rand uh, uh, far as for far as for the apartment, well, I'm not going to drive in South Africa. Let me get me a driver. Don't need to drive over there, so I pay him. Let me get me a chef. I'll pay him. Uh, I'll pay. I'll pay her a, new, a, a nutritionist. Let me get a. Let me get me a personal trainer. I'll mm -hmm. pay them. And I said, okay, what's the thing? Well, it, you know, let me get me. A, let me get me a housekeeper. I'll pay her. So, so I said, okay, I'm spending ten thousand rand a month. Even with ten thousand rand a month, spending all that, I still had ninety eight thousand rand left because of this business. And I knew for a fact that I could just go ahead and transfer. A transfer my whole global organization in Cape Town and not miss a beat. But here's the other thing: maybe I get to, maybe maybe I'll maybe I get a bread and breakfast over in South Africa. Maybe I want to go over to the to the to the east and go to Mozambique, or maybe go up go up high north to the northeast and, and go to uh, northwest and go up to Sierra Leone. And you know, but but being able to have all these these options. You now now I'm not in that income figure yet. I will be. And, but 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 the fact of the matter is I'm thinking about that because I'm like, hey, wait a minute, I have this vehicle. I don't have to worry about but, but have to worry about uh, re, uh, trying to figure out how I'm going to live in the United States. I can actually go somewhere else. I can do I can do like a lot of the, like the the British tourists I see and other people who seen the glove going to Africa. I can do just like them have the resources coming in residually, you know. And I can do this at a relatively young man. You know, and, and and I said, okay, I could do this without having to go over there and try to work and try to establish and, and try to establish a job over there, all through this carrot bar business because they know about gold over there. They need residual income over there. They they uh they they uh they 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 want to they they want to um 
they they want to uh uh, uh they, they want to leave inheritance for their children so why not why not just offer this and that's what that's what i've done and that's what i've done and lord be and, and lord be help, behold uh you know uh by helping other people doing it uh, helping other people establish themselves i mean we're we're on a we're on a we're getting ready to take a wonderful incredible ride oh incidentally i was talking to another business partner of mine the very first person i the very first person i, I registered and and so so i was trying to get her back into focus that we was talking about talking about our business concepts and she was she was telling me about how many of the brick and mortars like a, a thriving business uh thriving businesses you know just went out of business um and and um and sorry because like uh where 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 we used to live in buffalo new york a lot of the bit people had their houses but of like on the ground floor they would rent that out to people who had businesses so that 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 business rent was paying their mortgage like for example you would have like a flower shop or a restaurant and they live right upstairs but down at the bottom floor there's that restaurant so guess what that restaurant was paying was paying their their uh their their rent you know that's that's huge up in that area you see a lot of that up in the northeast well a lot of those businesses have gone out of biz business that was a thriving area up there why right. corona is shut down everything people not walking out there people are not going and even if they do it they're holding on to their money because they don't know what, what's going to happen with jobs and everything like that and so but nevertheless i told her the, the business is switching e-commerce right see if you have an e-commerce business like a carrot bar business you don't care about a, a job you really don't because you you can grab you can grab your money uh from africa french algiers you know uh uh, 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 uh tanzania trinidad you can grab it all over the world while you're still living where you are i mean all your whole business is right inside of here right you know that 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 call right there was from an affiliate in london Okay, I got to get back to him right there. Hang out, uh, hang out, uh, up this. Uh, uh, Prince Amir has a thriving team. Prince Amir and I have a thriving team in London. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, I've never been to London. I don't have to go. They don't have to come over here. As long as we have WhatsApp, and as long as as long as we, you know, as long as they have an internet, we're fine. See, it, with carrot bars, you don't have to buy a whole bunch of gold and sell it, resell it, and mark it up. You don't do that. Carrot bar sends it directly to to uh, to 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 your affiliates. They pay the shipping, and they, so you're totally out of it. And then, meanwhile, while they just started get their business started, you're getting compensated for that. Who they help, you're getting compensated for that. That literally is the business. That literally in the business, and, you know. And, and so when we talk about this, we're kind of we're kind of leaving off today. Uh, you know, it's almost like gosh, we're. we're uh, I don't want to wear people down. I don't want to sound like we're, um, we're trying to scare you into things. Well, uh, Prince Amir and I don't don't scare you. We're just trying to make you aware of what's out there. Yeah. And, you know, and when we now when we talk this things like groceries, everyone can rate the groceries. And you do you notice? Do you notice? Uh, um, the the Prince and I don't get on here and say, man, you know what? I was trying to get that new that new uh, pickup truck. Man, the deal fell through. Or I'm trying to get a new, uh, go get that new house. And, you know, even though mortgage rates uh, uh, consist, we ain't talking about, we're talking about food. Right. We're talking about utilities. Right. You know, we're, 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 we're talking about, you know, uh, having income just to, oh. just to, be, to pay the things. That's all. For sure. If I can interject. So um, the, there was a citywide ordinance in Atlanta <laughs> that uh, the utility companies could not, cannot cut off utilities uh, uh, up to June 30th. So it's, it's June 22nd. So. I haven't heard Keisha challenge anybody uh, extending that ordinance. So like I said, like I was telling you guys earlier, those bills are going to come due. So it's June 22nd now. June 30th is right around the corner. Well, that's great. But here's the thing about that. OK, uh, the company's pushed it back. Uh, and, you know, and for, for a former business owner um, uh, and a business owner. Now, I understand companies need to get paid just like everybody else. OK, but OK, they pushed it back. You better believe it's compounding on you. Listen, uh, last last month, last month, uh, I had been pushing my my car insurance off, pushing my car and payment off, pushing my car insurance. I could pay it, but I just want to hold the cash like I'm doing now. Eventually, I got to part with it. Okay, so so uh, and I would call my bill, my insurance bill is due the twenty first. So so uh, so. So I would call before then. I say, "Hey, I need you guys to defer this. What's going on, Mr. Stevens? Corona? 
Okay. And and uh and so they say, great, we'll be happy to work with. You. Last month, I forgot to do that. And so I'm sitting, I'm 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 waking up and you know, getting off the couch, get ready to go coffee. All, all of a sudden I, I I I power my phone up and it said, Thank you for your payment, you uh USAA. So what yeah. payment? So what payment? Um yeah, thank you for your four hundred seventy five dollar payment. Okay, four hundred seventy five is a cumulative effect of all the months I've been deferring it. But these, oh, wow. yeah, there wasn't one month because I've been pushing off, pushing off, pushing off. Uh, uh, they, they just went in, got the money, you know, and and I I called, I called, I said, hey, um, you know, is there any way I can get that back? <laughs> you know they like, they like, no, I mean, but hey, good news, Mister Stevens, you're caught up. <laughs> good news. Good news. You're caught up. And in essence, I wanted to be caught up because had that move would have been made uh, 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 come come this coming up month right there, I could have been easily looking at like close to, you know, getting up towards a thousand dollars at one time. I, I didn't want to face that. So so I started paying stuff off. And you know how I was doing it? I care about money. I care about money. That's how I was doing it. That's what it meant. You know, and, and last time I checked, mostly all the places over here, you have to have food, you have to have a vehicle to get somewhere, you know, and you have to have gas and you have to have insurance. So just a little thing. And, and once again, I'm not talking about going down to Miami uh, four hours away and getting on South Miami Beach and sitting at the Fountain Blue and having a good time. No, we're talking about food. We're talking about the mortgage. We're talking about rent. We're, 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 we're talking about electricity. We're talking about the basics, ladies and gentlemen. I mean that you you, you uh, carrot bars will afford you to have an incredible lifestyle. It really will. You'll be able to travel on the beaches of the world. You really will. I'm not talking about that now. I mean, I'm I'm really not. First of all, we don't know how this travel ban is is going to how it's going to go. Florida, unfortunately, you know, unfortunately, our cases are, are rising up to be some of the highest in the United States now. It's a tourism state, right? You know, so so we're back to that. So now you gotta you know you gotta push other things back in employment's getting ready to run out july 31st so so for the unemployment it's i think it's for 39 weeks but the uh pua pua which was the uh i guess the subsidy that was in place that's running out july 31st well it what it mean what it what it means is what it means oh, money, uh, uh, gonna be yeah what it means prince Amir, to, uh, that people is going to be out of money and, and and my god so many people are hurting right now so like uh like uh i um and this is i'm, I'm gonna love watching the look on prince Amir's face when i say this because he's he's predictable as rain to me it is uh it, when i i received my stimulus check uh saturday oh man deposit deposited deposited in my account okay the first thing i bought out of that check was gold mm. the first thing i bought paid myself first you know, I, I just spent one hundred seventy dollars, you know, far as uh, far as out of that account, uh, far as for groceries and other stuff. And I don't really look like, I got, uh, you know, I had anything, but I, I did it. OK, but the first thing I bought was gold. I bought I bought a, I bought grams of gold. That's one gram of gold. I bought one of those to add already add to my growing portfolio of gold. OK, already to add to my growing portfolio of gold. I bought that and I bought some cash gold. And I and I put it in my account. That gold is still going up. That cash is going to go down. Actually, I won't even miss it. And that's what I've been doing. I've been doing a little bit over the years, and a little bit, and a little bit, and a little bit. And lo and behold, I I, I looked at my gold reserves. Like, hmm, okay, that's pretty cool. See, my my mind, I think like this. <laughs> okay, um, I give myself I give myself an allowance. Let's say I just give myself twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Uh, and uh, this twenty dollars is going to be for three days. Anything you want from gummy bears, the bubble gum, you know, has to get in this twenty dollars. When you're gone, you're gone. But yet, I have, I have gold, I have cash saved, I have cryptocurrency saved, and I have euro saved. As far as I'm concerned, I got twenty dollars. That's that's the way I deal, you know. So it's because I because I, I I just. I just have a staying in me. I will never be broke again in my life. No. I will never be broke. 
Now, so much, so much so, if, if something come on, you know, I, I don't know what ha- my, my, what may happen. And this is this is for people who, who I love and have a have an incredible uh, uh, relationship with. I don't know what that Prince Samir might get on there. Hey, uh, Fitzgerald, uh, you know, I, I need about six bills. You know, and 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 and, uh, and our relationship would be, I wouldn't even ask him what it's for. I wouldn't ask him for it's for. I'm just, just simply, hey man, uh, give me a little bit. All I need is your cash app. Mm-hmm. You know, get it back to me when you can get it back to me. That's our relationship. Mm-hmm. But you, but you never know. So somebody got to have something. You know, someone, someone has to have something. You might be the only Joseph in your family. You know, mm-hmm. and, and you, you may be the only Joseph. You may be the only one that people can go to. And I ain't talking about the family members. Hey, man, let me go ahead and get a six pack of old eight, old English eight hundred. You know, <laughs> oh, oh, let me go ahead and drop this, get this dying bag or whatever the heck they call it. Yeah, you know, that. let me get this, you know, uh, far like that, man. Hey, man, you know, uh, you know, uh, I'm swinging like that, man, trying to take this little honey out, man. Let me go rent a car and press her because I don't got one. I got to make a think I got one. Dude, get gone. I'm yeah. talking about people like, hey, you know what? We're kind of short, you know, uh, uh, you know, we got things going on, uh, uh, going on in the house. Just kids need some, some food. You know, we got some, you know, can you, can you just please help? Well, my, you might be that only one that can go in there and say, uh, because you don't build a business up to some way, like, here you go. Don't even worry about it. Or just get it back to me, can you can. Somebody got to have something. Right. Someone has to have something. So, But, but in, order to, in order to give something away, you got to first have something yourself. I'm dealing in the, in, in the plans of having something. And, and what I said with my friend, that's not a brag. That, that's, not, that's not a brag. You know, he's done that for me. No, he's done that for me when I was broken in the church mouth. No, fifty dollars he sent me when I was up in uh, up in Western New York. I'll never forget it. That made all the difference to, to gas money. I wasn't doing like I was doing now. No, I wasn't doing. I, I wasn't. I was in her. Uh, I was in the uh, in the hurting, and and, uh, and you know, and he uh, he offered because I was too prideful to ask him. That was wrong. You know, and and, he, and that fifty dollars made a difference. Like, like what that did to me, and I was like, man, God, thank you, Lord, for opening up a way. You know, it, it gave me a little, it gave me some hope that I can get gone to where I am right now. You know, and you guys wonder why I come up here and work for him and build for him like I do. You know, fifteen years of friendship. You know, the, the man's proven. So that's why I said, you know, he he called that. He he called a date. Said, man, I got you know, got this. You know, I'm not going to ask it for us for. No, but somebody got to build something. Now he's built his incomes too. Don't get me wrong, but just in case someone could save a lot of gold, tell a lot of people, make a lot of money. Carrot bars, the largest distributor of small gram gold increments anywhere in the world. Started in 2011 by Dr. Harold Constantine Seitz, a German man. Yes, he is German man. Okay, Caucasian German man. Let's get that clear. He decided that he, he has a mission statement. A mission statement at Carrot Bars is free people from the cycle of debt by using gold. Gold is money. So he puts about th- uh, 35 to 40 million euros of his own personal money and starts Carrot Bars. You know, people often say, well, why don't you start, start your own? I don't have between 35 and 45 million euros right now to start it. That's <laughs> 2011. So if I don't have it, I'm going to get a part of someone who does do it. Okay, so he he set up a multi-million dollar website with CarrotBars.com. He made it free to join. He he took out all the elements of a traditional networking uh, networking referral based marketing plan, which is a which is the most successful marketing plans in the world. Word yeah. about marketing, and 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 he and he kept all the good. For example. Uh, you don't need to. You don't need to uh, uh, have a credit card. You don't need to be on auto ship. With, with losing your, uh, or, or 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 they're going to take away your distributorship because you're not getting enough. You you don't need to. You don't have any units that you that you acquire and that if you don't use them a certain amount of time, that it slushes. And right. on, on one on one and one of my uh, on one of my my legs, I got about forty eight thousand units on it. Been there for some time. It never goes away. But every time I get 25 units on on uh, on uh, on uh, my other team, which uh, which Prince Amir is a big part of, and his sponsor Denise Stevens, I get 80 euros like clockwork paid out. But the 48 still over there waiting for me. 
I remember show, one time showing that to to Prince Samir. He, his mouth dropped. So yeah, yeah man, I just I just just wait for the other things that to, to, to come up because I, I you know this is what's been built. Uh, you uh, uh, people 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 don't have any set amount they have to buy. Right. Okay. If you if you go you want a business package so you can get paid five times a week, but you don't even need to get that. Somebody, uh, if you want to build a team, you know, create a a, 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 a great team. I have close to 12,000 affiliates around the world, but you don't have to. Maybe you say, I don't want to talk to people. Cool. You could just acquire gold. You know, and then if you get a business package with someone else decide they want to get in and they, they get a business package under you, you could get you could get an income just because of that. So you don't have to do anything. You have 149 markets you can work in. And more importantly, you have control over your economic future and your family's economic future. So you're not really caring about a, 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 a really a Corona because they say you stay at home. Cool. Ain't no problem. Uh, you know, you work your business globally from home like we're doing right now. It, it, it they're it, they're saying it, it, it they're saying oh they're, the company are freezing they're not hiring cool because you ain't hired by anyone anyway you work in your own business so you're 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 living off of profits not wages right. you know if someone say well you know what you know cost of living keep going up cool because you have a business that you can do do, uh, do tax write off do you realize you can write off a certain percentage of your home if you got a home office like what Prince Amir and I are sitting in, you can write a certain percentage out of your taxes. How about this little thing right here to do business? Cell phone. That bill becomes tax deductible. How about these lights that we're around right here? Portion that becomes tax deductible. How about this shirt? Tax deductible. This is uniform. That Mindy shirt right there, that's a uniform. Okay. And so, so you, you can, how about, how about if I need to go up there and, and I, and I say, well, uh, Prince, man, we got, I need to come see you. No, I need, I need to come see you, man. I want to get some ox sales at Q's. No. And then I go up there. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, uh, I, go, I, 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 go up, I go up there. For sure. This is, I say this is a good hamburger spot right next door to Q's called BGR Grill. Yeah, you know hamburgers, right? Um, oxtails. But but, but uh, so so um, so I go up there, and when I when I park in his in his driveway, go up the hill and park in his driveway, sit in, unpack my bag. So man, uh, you know, have you have you talked to Kyrie or Tanya over there in the UK? You know, just because I made those two sentences, that whole bit, that whole that whole trip is written off. I was right. talking carrot bars business. All the mileage, about maybe 35 cents a mile, all written off. I was talking business. That meal that I go there and get the, you know, uh, you know, he probably taught me the hamburgers. I said, okay, I get a hamburger. I said, no, man, I got it. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. On you. She, she gives me the thing. Let's say like, let's say like $30 with tip and all that stuff. That whole meal is a tax write-off. I go back. It's right. It's written off. I get I get I get I get him a, I get in some Alabama China to put on his table because it's a gift for him. That gift is written off. That's what we talk about. See, you can't do that on your job. That's why you want a home-based business. So if you're saving in gold, for one, for those of you who think you got to build a network, you don't. You want to, but you don't. So you're you're saving in gold, you're collecting your cryptocurrency, okay, and then you have your tax write-offs. Because you have a home based business, what possibly wrong with that? Then you have, then you can leave that to your to your children. That's what that's what it is. It's it's so simple because it is simple, and that and that's what it is. I mean, but if you if you elect not to do anything, that's your choice too. Not doing anything is a choice. So it, it, if you if you don't do this, find something that fits the parameters of this. There's a lot of great vehicles out there, real estate, some good stocks. If you know how to, for those of you who know how to buy, um, you know, and have that import exporting still great. You want to import export to, uh, to Africa, still phenomenal uh, textile industry, agriculture getting over there. But they all have one thing in common. Income. 
you have to have money to get started. If you're going to start businesses on no levels, you know, it's going to cost you way more than a free position. It's going to cost you way more than one of the four business packages from from like anywhere from thirty four hundred euros to twenty two hundred euros one time, five hundred ninety five euros one time or one hundred eighty euros. It's going to cost you way more to do that. You know, more likely you probably have to get a building, probably have to go and hire employees. Probably have to get ready to, you know, put put money in the in an airplane because you got to get ready to travel. But so so you can have the exact same thing with this. This cost effective. All you have to be is eighteen. I don't have to have any specialized training. No license. No no license. I don't have to go over there. You know, we'll get ready. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, to open up uh, West 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 French speaking Africa. West French speaking Africa. I'm surprised that Nigeria actually kind of doesn't speak French over there, but it's an English. It was an English form of English calling. But there's there's millions and tens of millions of, of, of Africans who speak French over there. We, we happen to have one of our affiliates over in London who is very fluent in French. So we're getting ready to open up a market that untapped. Because uh, uh, money translates into France too. What if what what if you what if you uh, what if you was to find like a Prince Amir, or or uh, or or myself or Mr. Delk or Miss Miss Tanisha Glassby, you know? And and in my conclusion, all you need is the right two people, because right. you have a left team and the right team. All you are two people away from financial freedom. The right two on your left on your left team or your right team. You would have said something to me. You would have brought this to me. Uh, uh, you know, you had uh, you had twelve thousand uh, twelve thousand affiliates in your group. Approach your twelve thousand affiliates. One man. You would have talked to my sponsor, Mr. Michael Delco. You would have had something like my net 90, 96 thousand people in your organization. One man. You know, you would have brought this to Prince Dinas Amir. You would have had something like a man who's over who's going to a person sponsor over six hundred affiliates. I think he's going to hit a thousand by the end of the year one man see you never know who you're talking to you know and just because you don't like doing that or you don't like getting out talking to people or you or, or you don't want to take this thing to the next to that stratosphere don't mean that someone you know does it and you can and you can benefit from that warren buffett said if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep you're going to work until you die if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep you're going to work until you die Fitzgerald Stevens says, if you don't make moves, moves will be made on you. You know, so so we look forward to working with with everyone. You know, we we really do. Um, you know, we we know like in the in the time as, as Prince Amir has so eloquently pointed out, I haven't heard anyone say it like him. That includes news. That includes uh, uh, many of the other channels I listen to. It, 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 your side hustle is going to be your hustle. Your side hustle is going to be your hustle. You know. I never heard anyone say about uh, what what like uh, what uh, Prince was saying about the young graduates coming out right now in 2020. You know, they're they they're, they're facing practically depression like numbers, unemployment numbers. People are going to, have to live at homes longer with their parents. People are going to put off having to start a family. People are going to have to put off uh, being married and stuff like that because responsible people. Because all those things take money. You know, and 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 uh, and, and uh, I personally think, and I hope I'm wrong. I really, really hope I'm wrong. I personally think um, the, two, the 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 year 2000, uh, 2020. I personally think we just all write that off. I think I think things going to start maybe maybe start coming to some normalcy, but like at the uh, around next year. But in the meantime, you know, it, it's up to you to ensure your financial legacy. Hey, Joe, real quick, how do you think uh, football season is going to play out? Football season is not going to play out. Oh, okay. Look, listen, man. We're, uh, uh, Florida's get ready to have the, the Florida's get ready to open up the second stages for the pandemic, and many of the people around the country, because people got bored. People are like, oh man, I'm tired. I'm tired of being cooped up. I gotta go live. I gotta go work. We can't be afraid, and that's okay. But this thing put people in the ground, and so you get there. And and what happened, in Florida? We opened up the beaches. They decided to go. We we the tourism season down here. We talked about opening up uh, Mickey Mouse Land, the Universal Studios over Orlando. No, they opened up um, Universal Studios. Or, okay, or, people are close together. Even when I go in, a, a, you know, when I go in supermarkets, they're they're uh, they're requiring they're, they're requiring masks, and that's all. But but you can walk outside, man. You go outside, man, uh, on a bike trail. We ain't wearing masks out there. 
I mean, I'm not wearing a mask all day. I don't feel like I don't feel like collapsing and falling out when I'm riding yeah. in 90, 90 degree weather. So people are getting loose with these restrictions. Restaurants are opening again and they have to. The, the economy has to open. But I think the second wave of this pandemic is going to be worse than the first. No, then that's going to drive people right back to where they were. And that's really going to do some things. So so I'm, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is use good judgment. No, I'm not saying stay home. No, I'm not saying don't get out there and go to work and look for other opportunities. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying just, you know, guard your six. Now, far, far as with this. But in the meantime, while all that's happening, please, while you're while you're in a, a position right now, before 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 stuff becomes prohibited, build your carrot bar business, build your residual income. So when something does come out, you're not totally unprepared and blindsided because you have nothing in place. Build it. The time to act is now before that unemployment work. Take some of that and get you a package. Be, 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 before they, the, the job saying we, we, we don't know if we could call you back. You know, I mean, even even for those of you who work at home on these jobs, your stuff is in jeopardy. You may not believe it, but it's true, because when the orders start going down, when when the, when the, when people are not making much orders, they are because their 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 funds are being collapsed. Guess what? That's going to be a trickle down effect. Uh, Prince Amir, I'll let you I'll let you uh, um, uh, go ahead and grab us, uh, take us home, man. Uh, some of these, and I like to appreciate everyone from Mr. Marcus Brown to, uh, to Miss, uh, uh, Sparker Hood and, and Miss W.O. You know, we, with W.O. Lie, hey, appreciate the great feedback. We really need this because we're trying to get more effective. We're trying to present this and, uh, uh, much more effective, but the really, the, it's a simple thing. Get your residual income, whatever you want to make in week, have something pass on your children. Get out of right, right, uh, rat race where you can be controlling your future before someone else can. Because who knows? It may come a time, you know, that that with a lot of all this, you know, all this the shaking and quaking in the United States from this police murders to hangings to 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 the uh, 24 trillion dollars in in uh, in um, twenty four trillion dollars in debt. Somebody might be saying, you know what? I think it's time for me to get the heck on. Mm -hmm. I think I'm like, you know, I think I might want to, I think I'm going to go talk to Mir, see what he was talking about over there. No, you know, I think I might want to just go. I think I, I, I had had enough. I want right. to just go somewhere. You know, uh, uh, Africa is the place of my birthplace of my, uh, my forefather. Then that's where I came from. I want to go reconnect. And I think I want to stay over there. I've been over in the U.S. for 55 years. Right. You know, so I think I, I think I can make it go over there. I want right. to go see it. You know. Then I get then so I have the income to do it. Or if you want to go back to the Dominican Republic, or if you want to go to Canada, or if you want to go to Europe, wherever you want to go, just the fact that you have choices like I can do something as opposed to I gotta buckle down and come what may here. I gotta take it and just deal with it the best I can. I don't think that's a good winning formula, Prince. All right. No, so the floor is yours, my brother, and I appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Yes, yes, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Real quick, what is Carabar? So what you're doing. Our founder, Harold Science, our CEO and president, he wanted to make small increments of gold available to the masses. OK, so he decided to implement a network marketing system in, in order to make that happen. You know, some people, they, they when you say network marketing, it's, it has this negative connotation for some reason. But if you refer somebody, right, you went to go see Black Panther a couple years ago. And if you told that person or told your friend, hey, Black Panther was awesome, go see it. That's network marketing. But what's the difference, difference between care bars and you uh, referring someone to go see Black Panther is you didn't get paid for that, but you'll get paid for referring people to acquire gold. And so what you do, you buy a package. OK, a package. You have your bronze, silver, gold or VIP. The bigger the package, uh, the more commissions you can earn. Right. So you. You will you you'll acquire gold when you acquire one of those packages, but also too you now have your gold franchise. So the objective once you have your gold franchise is to grow your franchise. Okay, you want to be one of the top franchises in the company. Uh, the Red Lobster here in Atlanta, off of Camp Creek, that's the number one Red Lobster in the world, right here off of Camp Creek here in Atlanta, the number one Red Lobster in the world. So obviously, you know that manager, general manager, that GM of that Red Lobster, I'm pretty sure is bonusing out. Uh, more than the Red Lobster in Tampa somewhere. Red Lobster in Tampa closed down for me down here. Red Lobster in uh, Buffalo uh, somewhere. I, you know, I, I don't know. So 
Uh, so obviously you want your franchise to be profitable because you get rewarded by care bars for having a great franchise. So what do you do? You present the opportunities, the opportunity to other people. Hey, do you look for additional ways to earn income? Uh, do you keep your income options open? All right. You get them to acquire a franchise through you or to acquire gold through you and you get paid. Obviously, uh, it's more lucrative to get others to acquire a franchise through you because now you leverage, you get, you have the opportunity to earn residual income off the efforts of that person's franchise who came through you. So that's care bars to make it simple uh, in a nutshell. So everyone, thank you so much for joining. Affiliate link is in the chat room. Click on the affiliate, affiliate link, sign up as an affiliate. It's also on the bottom of the screen, the ticker, and also in the description. Uh, like, share, subscribe, go to dynastymirror.com, buy some merchandise, books, midday shirts, all types of uh, merchandise on there. Go to dynastymirror.com and purchase some merchandise. Until next time, family, Dynasty Mirror, search for Huru. Peace.